I'm just about to go through my closet door to the monster world to see if I can make history by becoming the first human jokester at Monsters, Inc. Uh, okay, uh, kids. Mm -mm -mm. What's yellow and dangerous? Shark-infested custards! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, brother, bro. Ding! Whoa, there's no easier way to say this, Mr. Thomas. I'm sorry, but you can't even make a kid chuckle. Okay, ma'am, I'll come back next week. I'll, I'll have a more original joke, I, I promise. I Monsters at Work is the 2021 Disney Plus a TV show that the, that's the sequel to my favourite Pixar movie, Monsters, Inc. Just in TV form instead of movie form. So Monsters at Work uh, tells the story taking place uh, after the events of Monsters, Inc. After Water News is a respite just before the very final scene of Monsters, Inc. Where we knew uh, Mike and Sully uh, took over from Water News as the CEOs of Monsters Incorporated. Uh, though the part we didn't know is that uh, Tyler Tuskman and uh, the Mift crew uh, who work in maintenance were involved. Monsters at Work uh, was uh, a uh, 2021 review I uh, prioritised uh, to do uh, before uh, the year ends uh, because you all know uh, my uh, uh, love for uh, Monsters Inc and uh, how uh, that movie is still uh, the unbeatable and untouchable Pixar movie in my book. And I could not be happier that that movie at least uh, got something uh, to celebrate its uh, 20th anniversary, even though I would have preferred a, a movie sequel. Uh, a, a TV sequel is uh, uh, still uh, hugely satisfying. I'm uh, always a, a lover of a spin-off of TV shows to franchises I love, uh, like uh, The Lion Guard, A Race to the Edge, and uh, The Legend of Tarzan, the Lilo and Stitch animated TV show, and Monster Monsters of Work is now one of them. Monsters at Work is, to quote the Sultan from Aladdin, absolutely marvellous, and uh, now uh, my second favourite property in the Monsters Inc. franchise. I'd even uh, shockingly put it above Monsters University, I'm not kidding. As well as predictably my absolute favourite uh, Disney Plus uh, show, uh, yeah, expect me to just gush this show with love throughout this review. Uh, does Monsters at Work have things I wanted to happen that uh, didn't happen? Uh, of course, uh, but uh, but overall, I am still uh, incredibly proud to call myself a Monsters Inc. fan after uh, watching the show. And I say it is uh, superior to all of the Marvel shows on Disney Plus uh, put together. And it's 10 episodes long, so it's neither uh, overstaying its welcome uh, nor uh, feeling uh, like it's over with uh, too quick. And uh, it's uh, side splittingly funny. And brings back the original voice cast, as well as uh, the uh, opening uh, uh, titles including the uh, classic original Monsters Inc. theme, the da 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 what more could you ask for? Billy Crystal and John Goodman have still very much got it uh, in their roles as uh, Mike Wazowski and James P. Sullivan. I mean, I mean, hearing them voice those characters uh, again, it was like uh, I died and gone to heaven. And the exact same with hearing uh, Jennifer Tilly reprise her role as a Celia. But Tyler Tuskman is a terrific uh, new protagonist, and uh, I love how uh, this show touches on uh, how. Uh, uh, how uh, awkward it was at the time when Mike and Sully were changing Monsters Incorporated from a scare company to a laughter company. Some scarers would have lost their jobs or, and, and some would have had to have uh, uh, reapplied to, to be a jokester. You know, change like that just doesn't just happen overnight. Tyler even uh, has a, a deep conversation with Sully uh, it, uh, where he uh, is venting about he wishes they could go back to scaring that way he could he, that way Sully could be on the scare floor again but Sully then confesses to him about so the moment he scared Boo and, and how that moment made him a changed monster uh, and though uh, I do think it was a 
great missed opportunity to not include Boo in the show at all. And why is Monsters Inc. still the only Monsters Inc. property with Boo in it? Uh, I understand this is all happening before a Micah fixed a Boo's door from the shredder, but still, I'll just give us one little glimpse of Boo. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, Tyler uh, has a, a terrific design too of his uh, huge horns, uh, and his horns uh, cause a lot of conundrum uh, to to say the least. Uh, and uh, and he initially uh, is uh, 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 frustrated and not happy about so uh, being placed with the miffed crew in maintenance. He wishes he could be on the Laffa floor. But over the course of the show, he does uh, warm up to them and, and see that uh, they are uh, the biggest bunch of sweethearts working in Monsters Incorporated and, and do everything they can to make him f feel at home, uh, including giving him his own desk. Yeah, I was surprised as much as you were to see that uh, Mike and Sully were not uh, the central focus of the show. Tyler and the Miff crew are the uh, true protagonist. That's not a complaint. If anything, that was a original and a risky uh, d decision that pays off because, uh, because we get to follow some uh, new characters in this franchise for, for a change. Short glimpse of Monsters University after Tyler uh, beats even Sully's record at the uh, Scare Me. So, uh, there are uh, easter eggs and callbacks to both Monsters Inc. and Monsters University which will uh, just uh, have uh, the uh, uh, fans uh, put pointing out uh, uh, left, right and centre and going uh, my favourite of the Myth crew was uh, Tyler's a former Monsters University uh, classmate uh, uh, and, she, she, and uh, source of girlfriend. Uh, she she uh, was a uh, uh, pure uh, sweetness and uh, she, she even... Uh, she was pure sweetness and her best episode was Adorable Returns. Adorable Returns would probably be my second favourite episode of the show in total. Adorable being the abominable snowman from the first movie, by the way, who was banished, but we, we find out he was banished because Water News had discovered his plans to work with Randall about the Scream Extractor, which, uh, uh, which, in, in which uh, makes Water News even more of a bastard than he already was. Thank her goodness so he was allowed her to return to the monster world and serve his uh, cl famous uh, snow cone recipe. A uh, lovable guy with the one eye and uh, the uh, crab a worker monster. She, she uh, w was a sweetie, but the only uh, member of the Myth crew I wasn't a fan of was Duncan, uh, the one with the three eyes. Duncan was a jealous uh, dick, uh, constantly uh, trying to get to Tyler uh, uh, f fired and uh, out of uh, the uh, Mifta office. Uh, you were uh, eagerly anticipating Roz's return, you know, always watching. She is in it, but only briefly. Uh, we mostly see her sister, Rose, uh, who has uh, uh, pink hair. She's uh, just uh, as uh, cool. And we find out more about that uh, lady who uh, runs a scream tests or laughter tests now in the opening of the original. We find out she has has a, a daughter who's a just the, the cutest thing and she uh, convinces her mum to give Tyler another shot. <laughs> the animation is uh, flawlessly accurate and uh, the character designs are flawlessly uh, true uh, to uh, how they were in the original film and, uh, and you are convinced Pixar made it even though it was Disney. They were so respectful. And the new uh, Monsters Incorporated's uh, motto, uh, it's laughter we're after, is a uh, hundred times better than the old one, we scare because we care. And it's laughter we're after just happens to be the series finale, which uh, ties into the very last scene of uh, Monsters, Inc. Uh, beautifully, uh, and it's my favourite episode of the show. And stay for uh, the and stay for the uh, credits, uh, because at the end of every episode, uh, Mike uh, holds a, a comedy class in week in which uh, he uh, teaches uh, his students uh, the arts uh, of um, joking. I could uh, sure use uh, his uh, knowledge as uh, I uh, uh, would uh, never pass as a jokester if I uh, tried uh, to get on the laugh floor. I don't even think they would 
let humans, to be honest. Sure, there's a sense of bizarrity to some episodes like Bad Hair Day, in which a Tyler loses a, an older um, Mifty member's hair, which is swallowed whole by the monster hamster. But man, is it a funner kind of bizarre. So overall, Monsters at Work is the lion guard of a Monsters Inc. and uh, the uh, most uh, uh, wonderful thing to watch on Disney Plus in uh, the entirety of 2021. Uh, I give Monsters at Work five stars out of five. Best TV show ever. This has made me realise, why haven't I reviewed The Lion Guard yet? Uh, I, I need to review uh, that show as a whole. Uh, well, I love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and what are your thoughts on Monsters at Work, and where does it rank in your Monsters Inc. ranking? Please comment and let me know, please like this video and subscribe, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you next time uh, when I... Uh, share my uh, ranking of the uh, 101 Dalmatians uh, movies, and remember, movies are us. Bye guys.